But the soup makes me feel better. Oh, Liang Ge! Liang Ge! Show how that! She upsold us to two! The Fujinese fried skewers are making a run for it, alright? Oh. Hey. oh! Boba and fish soup are flushing oh. boys up. A portion of this video was sponsored by CarMax. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special Flushing Queens episode of Fung Bros Food. We're out here in maybe the most densely populated Chinese area of America. And it's exciting because there is incredible food out here. And we are here with none other than Perry Stacks. What's up guys? We're here in Flushing today. We're here to show you some of the new spots we're gonna check out. Yo Nell, is this video exciting for you? Because you're from 626. Obviously we know 626 has amazing Asian food. But I don't know. I think now Flushing, Flushing might better. really- ah. oh. 626 Asian food versus flushing Asian food. Let's go. Oh, I like it. A little bit of friendly competition. Yeah. All right, so the question that we're going to try to answer today is in 2021, is Flushing Queens the absolute overall best place to get Chinese food in America? Let's find out. A portion of this video was sponsored by CarMax. All right, everybody, before we get started on this walking food tour, let's talk about driving real quick cars and our sponsor today, CarMax. Before we moved to New York City, we had to sell our car, and that was one of the worst things about moving. We were in a rush, we didn't know if we were getting a good deal, and overall, I just wish the process was way easier. They are making things super easy and super painless, but now I get to help my parents because they are actually trying to sell their Honda CRV in California, and of course, they asked me for help because they don't wanna get gypped. Let me walk you through how this works. I put my VIN number or license plate number and I answered a few questions about the car's condition. The questions are things like, did you mod your car? Do you need new tires? Did you smoke in the car? So once I did that, the quote came in less than five seconds. Shout out to CarMax for making it easy for me to be a good son. So what I really love about CarMax's instant offers now is that it's good for seven days. That means it actually gives you enough time for you to shop around and see other offers. Because at the end of the day, CarMax will buy your car even if you don't buy one of theirs. So remember, if you or your family or friends are thinking about selling their car, check out CarMax.com right now. See what locations are near you. Get a quote in two minutes. It'll help you out a lot. All right, everybody, now back to the video. Thanks to CarMax for sponsoring a portion of this video. Harry, I know we filmed on this street like five, six years ago. Yo. I don't personally buy anything off of them, but... <laughs> And I want to say every single restaurant has turned over into something new. This whole corner is not the original restaurants. Everything is something new. So Nanchang used to be the famous flagship holding down this block. They have since moved. First they took on two stores and then they moved to the corner location right there, which is three times as big. Flushing is crazy because it combines the speed of New York City, how things turn over and how people innovate. But it's like all Chinese. It's we incredible. We got to get into the food, guys. Enough talking. Let's go. OK, here we have the world famous Nanshang Shaolong Baos. Now, this spot has been around and been a staple for many, many years, but what happened is in 2019, it actually closed down. And then it just recently reopened. Brand new look, new menu new items. New menu, new items, you know. When we first made the first video, I was like, yo, you gotta go Nanshang for the yeah. dumplings. <laughs> All right, Perry, what's the first spot we gotta go to on this Flushing Food Pro? Oh man, it gotta be Nanshang for the soup dumplings, man. Now we got, this is the rainbow dumplings yeah. that they have, all different flavors. Here you have the green gourd, which is a vegetable, and then here you have the pork and crab. Here you have scallop. This is the classic one. This is the black truffle, and this is the chicken shaolong bao. Yep. Shout out to Nan Shang for just innovating on the shaolong bao, giving it a new look, giving it new flavors. I mean, I feel like in 2021, when you're talking about shaolong baos and you want to make it Instagrammable, you, you gotta, gotta add some you, color yep, to it. You gotta, you know, change it up. Yo, you're you're in the street wearing sneakers. Are these kind of hype beast dumplings? Uh, yeah. People come here to take to take pictures for these, but you know, the food's good. It's not just for Instagram. All right. You know. Until you can resell them, though, they're not really hype. World famous Nan Shang Shaolong Bao. Look at that face on him. Look at that face. Bro, it's all right. It's good though, it's good though. Nah, that scallop one was fire actually. All right, these are the three treasure Shaolong Baos. So here you actually have a, a multi-color paneling exterior traction at the top looks very good. <laughs> to the beginning of a very crazy flushing very food crawl. Very hefty. Oh, uh. All right, David, the red one is pork and ham hock. This is abalone. And then this is actually sea cucumber. Most valuable foods in China. The ham hock one tastes like a soup. It's good to try it once. You know, I'm still, every time I come here, I stick with the pork and crab. You know, that's the original one and still my favorite, you know. But I think Nanshang Shaolong Bao is the perfect place to start our Flushing food crawl because it just kind of shows you the innovation and the mindset of where Flushing is at. They're yep. moving up. All right, everybody. 
that was a crazy start to our Flushing Food Crawl 2021, but uh, we gotta keep it moving. Uh-oh, guys, I see a competitor for Nan Shang right here. You know, <laughs> guys, a lot of people are trying to do the colored Shaolong Baos, different flavors, two-tone, colorways, it's crazy. All right, you guys, we have arrived at Taiwan number one, Xing Fu Tong. Harry, what has caused this, uh, almost looks like a, just some a sneaker drop or people are just admiring puppies through a window, what, what's going on? So, what they're known for, they, they make the boba fresh in front of you and they cook it right right here. In Taiwan, it's the same thing. I saw this in Taipei, you know, it was a long line, everyone's watching them make the boba, you know, the brown sugar. Thank you. I'm from Seattle too. This is my first time here, but it's so busy and obviously there's a lot of like really good Asian spots here. It does feel very similar to Asia. I mean, I've been to Japan and it does have a similar vibe. It's like the OG like Korean and Chinese food that's in Flushing Queens pretty much. I would definitely say like Flushing gives off its own like unique cultural vibe. It's very like familial and like traditional in a lot of senses. All right, you guys, we are at Xing Fu Tang. This is the hypest boba shop I've actually personally ever seen in my life in the world. Guys, and in this the world. I, I feel like maybe it's not only a boba shop. This is just serving high quality everything. And we are eating it behind the bar because Perry, you you had the plug. <laughs> no, it, you know th this is the first for me. The the ice cream. I usually come here for the bubble tea. You know, there's always a line, but you know, let's dig in. Milk tea, tea ice cream. cream. Immaculate. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are doing this flavor in 2021, but it don't taste like Xing Fu Tang. All right, we are finally going to try the world famous Xing Fu Tang milk tea and brown sugar flavor. You know what really strikes me about this place is that all their drinks, when it comes out, it looks like the photo. Xing Fu Tang bobas. Wow, man. That's the recipe for success. The bobas are really good quality, like soft. Shing Fu Tong, five out of five. Get the sauce there too. Check it out, flushing. All right, Perry, we picked a crazy day. The lines for everything are out the door. Where we at? So this is a skewer spot I, I come to sometimes. Uh, they deep fry everything instead of traditionally on the grill. Right. So you pick you pick what you want, and then they, they fry it right there in the pot. Hey, this is from China. What place did you come from? What way? It's the way it's All right, so they're from Fujian, from Xiamen, Andrew. They said these fried skewers is a Xiamen style. All right, you guys, we are inside of a boba shop slash mala fish spot. Perry, is this spot kind of new? It was recently started serving the fish. Boba and fish soup? I would have never thought that combo. All right, all right. That might have 626 beat. Flushing real estate is expensive, so, you know, they're, they're probably splitting the store, you know, doing half fish and half fish. So this is a chain from Sichuan, China, Sui Zhu Yu. Let's check it out. All right, you guys, we are taking a look at uh, two concepts we've never seen before. The fried skewers from Xiamen, and then, of course, uh, the Sui Zhu Yu to go in a boba shop. Deep, Deep fried, fried skewers. Sa Chuan. It's different. It's different. That, that's a good way to put it. You know, the usual skewer spots, you know, it's made on a grill in Flushing. You know, this this spot, they deep fry everything. It's probably not as healthy, but you know, it, I like that crunch. Wing was cool. Cleaned it out. You got this in the 626? Uh, oh! <laughs> hey, bro, I think the Fujinese fried skewers are making a run for it, all right? Watch out, guys. You might see this as a trend. We are looking at uh, this Suizhu Yu, which is uh, from a fast food boba shop. So this is already a concept I've never seen before because normally you have to go into a restaurant, spend $30, $40 for a gigantic bowl of this. It comes with a lot of fish. Look at look. <laughs> I mean, that is a ton of fish fillets in there. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. Solid, solid. No, I'm not gonna lie. The 626 does not have this concept, right? Yeah, it does. Oh my God. To go? Yeah, to go. They had this no. at the H Marts, bro. You know what? I'm the decider. I'm the judge. I'm going to give Flushing half a point. So it's going, we're going to go 1.5 to 1 so far. Flushing boys up. All right, our next location is Playdate. So we featured this spot six months ago during the pandemic, but they're still going strong and they have a bunch of new items. It is owned and started by Chinese Americans from the 626, Nelson. Let's go. As we are in Playdate. Perry, I got to say, it's popping right now. You know, they got new drinks, new sandwiches. It's dope to see. They really adapted. They changed their whole thing up. Love guys, to see it. what a stimulating Asian business. All right, you guys, I'm going in on the Taiwanese pork chop sandwich. It's got some coleslaw in it. You guys are going to go in on the chicken. Playdate sandwiches. It's pretty good. That is nicely done. That pork chop was juicy, spiced well. Overall, very easy to eat. Chicken sandwich is fire. Is this a point for flushing or half a point? I already gave the dub already to flushing already. I already gave <laughs> yeah. the dub already. 
we're gonna have to go half point because the owners are from 626. I was just gonna say that because you gotta credit the 626 as the owner from 626. So half point for the six. All right, we'll give you that. <laughs> All right, so we got some drinks here. I had the lychee lime green tea. It's got, looking like a mojito. I got a, like a sparkling lychee with your coat. This is uh, sort of like a soda lychee. Cheers. 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 This is delivering a feeling and like a type of food and fun that like a lot of other spots in Flushing don't do. So big shout out to them. That means you should give another half point to the 626 thing. Nah, I think that's for Flushing. It gotta be right one. Right. All right, too much, too much calculating, guys. Come on, it's getting too mathematical and complicated. I don't know, Perry, do you feel comfortable eating this? They got cooked salty eggs for 150. I mean, a lot of people buy the food off the street, but I, I usually don't. Ego, 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 ego. Oh, Liangga. Liangga. Yeah. She upsold us to two. All right, Rose, me and you are the only brave souls that want to do this, but really, there's nothing to be scared about, I think. No, you're not doing it? Yeah. Nah. Perry, you're not doing it? Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my J. Okay. Hey, Salted hey. egg. Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to just eat it straight up. I like it. All right, right next to Xing Fu Tong is a spot that caught my eye. Called the Bisu. Perry, tell us about it. So this is a chain from Japan. They opened up uh, about six months ago. They carry a lot of Japanese snacks, a lot of imported uh, Japanese items, beauty products. They're opening a few in Flushing. A lot of people want Japanese products, so you know this is a cheaper way to bring it instead of flying all the way to Japan. This rhyme reminds me of Shibuya. Jenny, you're from Xing Fu Tong. You never been here though. Yeah, I've never been here. No, I noticed something that you are gonna relate to in the window. This is about to go super safe. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're inside of a bisu right now. It's pretty cool. Like, it reminds me of, um, I don't know, it reminds me more of Japan than like a typical Mitsuo or something. Have, have you been at Don Quixote in Japan? Uh, I've heard of it. I know what you're talking about. It's like a big department store in Japan where they, uh, everyone grabs all the snacks. You know, I, I usually bring it back from Japan every time I come. But now you find everything here, like for you source locally. And you know what I like about this is because the way they describe this story, they call it a life store, and that is exactly what it is. I like how the definition and the translation is very straightforward. It's for your life. All right, you guys, we have just exited Ibisu snack store. I have cheese in rice crackers. I know that the rice cracker game has been very innovative in the past few years. A lot of people are doing a lot of savory flavors, so this is a cheese rice cracker. Yo, these chips are Ibi Yuzu. Ibi, I believe, is shrimp, unless I'm reading that wrong. <laughs> That's shrimp and yuzu. Yeah. Yo, I got the Kit Kat wafer snacks bag. It has chocolate little wafer cubes and some nuts. All right, Jenny, what'd you get? Seaweed. Okay, Seaweed yeah. Seaweed fries. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. EV snacks. snacks. Bro, that <laughs> texture is wild. The shrimp user ones are weird. This is Ferrero Rocher broken down into three pieces. Guys, it is amazing to me to have eaten so many Asian snacks over the years and still be finding new ones. We are entering Landmark Quest Mall. It's a really small, like, food stall area, yeah, right? we're right on uh, Roosevelt and Main Street. It's a busy intersection. They have a bunch of food. Flushing has a lot of compact places where they have a bunch of food stalls. It's a shared space. A lot of different restaurants here. Let's do it, guys. This is actually pretty exciting. It feels a lot like China. We may have to make a stop here because this is called Shandong Time Honored Brand. But this is Shandong food right here. And I'm also Shandong, so we gotta check it out. So David, they call this the Shandong Robing, aka the Shandong Meat Pie. Yeah. All right, you guys, just go for it, man. Just try the bite. It's, it's leaking. Dude, Perry, you ever had this? Nope. Wow. I love this because Flushing is a very fast-paced area. A lot of people are walking the streets and this is one of those foods that you can just come in, pick up, and keep walking with. This is something I would, I would buy again. All right, our next spot here is Cup of Tea. Perry, what are they doing here? So it's like a cha cha tang kind of stuff. They have Hong Kong teas and they have the bowl of pals with the butter and everything. It says Hong Kong inspired. That's very, very on point. Me coming from Hong Kong, you know, we gotta check it out. Oh, All that's right, true. Go. We're at Cup of Tea. This spot is uh, pretty much brand new, right? Yeah, opened recently, a few months ago. Now you got your fruit tea. Pineapple's good for you I, for, I, for specific reasons. <laughs> oh, what, what do you call pineapple in Cantonese? Bolo. Bolo. Oh, and speaking of bolo, I got the bolo yao. This is a very, very popular like Hong Kong cafe food where you just put a slice of butter in between a clam shell cut style of a pineapple bun and it's warm. Andrew, this is a uh, lemon tea at Dong Ling Ta. This is the signature Lai Cha, the, the milk tea, you know, I had to rock the Hong Kong kicks right here. Right. Hey. Yo, this is a photo op right here. And of course we have the Hong Kong egg waffle, very light, crispy, airy. Cup, cup of tea. tea. That is how a Gai Dan Zai should be. Very light, sweet, a little eggy, not too thick. 
The pineapple tea was very refreshing. You got uh, chopped up pineapples inside with uh, fruit jellies as well. This might be the most Hong Kong spot in New York yeah, City, that's, right? That's, that's a legit way to do it. Pretty good, I approve. Guys, here at Young's Dessert, I didn't know what it was going to look like from the street, but it really does feel like a sea drama. I think, you know, there's a lot of different couples here. It's very cute looking. They're playing the sea pop music. Did you expect this? No, I didn't. You know, it's a nice little date spot. You want to bring, bring a girl for dessert. All right, guys, I'm going to try this durian milli crepe. Harry, you don't really like durian. But this is a durian milli crepe. This ain't like a raw durian. How do you feel about durian? I am indifferent on durian. Okay, well, I like I, durian. I'll try it. You know, I've, I've tried it before, but not a fan. All right, well, fan, let's try it. Because it's a milli crepe. This is the hottest style of cake. Of course, you know, popularized by Lady M. Not Lady M. <laughs> look, look at Nelson's piece. <laughs> oh, y'all scared of durian. I was eating the salted eggs on the street. I give a shout out to Tommy right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, From Tommy, Chinatown, yo. Chinatown boy. I'm hey, from Chinatown. I'm hey, flushing. Yo, what's, what's up, up bro? You, you Young dessert, durian milli crepe. Oh, that's good. You hating on that? Yo, I've you never seen one. Perry's face like that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, no, it's cool. It's cool. All it's right. A little creamy. It's not bad cake. It's but, a little creamy. You know, for me. Still not bad. If you like durian, I think that's a that's a good it's, play, it's a guys. Good. Yo, we got Mr. Vietnam in from, from yeah. coming from Boston. From Boston. All right, you guys, we got to end off at Soup Day. Guys, I have to admit that this is probably the flyest looking soup restaurant I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know that a spot could just serve soup. Okay. Let's go um, in. Usually when you want soup, you know, you grab your traditional, I mean, like chicken and ginseng or like the shark fin soup at like a restaurant. But to have a designated spot for like, you know, traditional like herbal soup, it's new. This is crazy because this is one of those soups that like you would really only make at home. And it's very hard to order this and maybe if you order it, a lot of spots only have like one or two different styles of soups, but this is soup day. Like you just come here and only get soup, so. It feels right at home, man. This is something like, you know, my parents would cook. And I think this is a really dope concept for like, you know, like the younger generation kids who like, who don't live at home, you know, don't live away from their parents and they just need a nice good soup. Just come here, you just feel right at home. David, you're a big soup guy. What's your, what's your thought? I'm a soup guy. Listen, the chicken one was pretty solid. Very, very medicinal tasting. Honestly, in a weird way, I know that black skin chicken has more medicinal properties, but I kind of like the regular chicken just because it's like fattier. Mm -hmm. The black skin chicken is uh, that's more for the soup. That's for medicine. Yeah. Harry, you said there was a ton of new stuff that opened up on Prince Street. We're in one of these uh, concepts that just came over from China. What is it? This is called Yinjing. They do rice noodles from Guangzhou. It's a little different from the traditional Hong Kong rice noodles. It's a little wider. Right, it almost looks like a Mondo burrito. Guys, this whole video is kind of about how a lot of spots in Flushing are either getting makeovers or they're updating or they're coming in with a new look. And speaking of new looks, Perry, your sneaker shop image is also getting a new location and a new look. Well, we're we're expanding our store. We're moving on to Main Street. By the end of the year, we're gonna have a new and bigger spot with a lot of new stuff. So you know, come check okay. us out. So just like Flushing's changing and getting more elevated. We're upgrading image. too. Image is yep. up. Image NY, finest consignment sneaker store in the city. This is called Yao Tio with Cheng Fun. I didn't know rice rolls were gonna blow up so much in the past like five years that there's really enough appetite for different styles of churn fun. Not just Hong Kong style, not just this style, not just that style. All right, everybody, that does it for our flushing food crawl, trying all the new concepts that have opened up. So much has changed even in the last several months. Yo, big shout out to Perry from Image. Remember, they are moving locations, so follow their IG for any updates. Also follow Perry Stacks right here. Big shout out to Jenny for joining us. No, of course. Drop your social. At Nelly Nell Chan, Instagram, YouTube, Hoop and Life. You know what the deal is. I can highly <laughs> recommend doing food crawls with your friends, all trying new spots that maybe some of you guys have tried, some of you haven't tried. I don't know, every time we do it, it's just so fun. Yeah, we saw a lot of other groups visiting from other states. You know, they were visiting, off, doing Based food off crawls, the videos, right? Based off the flushing video, so, you know. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Let us know in the comment section below what you thought, what is a favorite chain that should come over from Asia. Ooh. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. You gotta support real small businesses, businesses of all sizes. I like it. I might need some boba after this. <laughs>